We have 45 seconds. I want to use it to ask you a question. Why do people who were adopted feel like they were rejected instead of selected? I don't feel rejected. You're sure? Very sure. Because it's not like the baby is born and the parents look and say, nah, we're not interested in this one. On the other hand, someone did choose you. You play the role of John Scully, the former CEO of Apple. Uh, tell me, uh, what role did John Scully play in, in Steve Jobs' life? Well, Steve sought him out. Uh, Steve knew that, that the direction he was going with the company, but he was going to need somebody, uh, certainly with an expertise in marketing and on the corporate side. That, those were not Steve's strengths, or at least he needed help there. And he went after, like, the biggest of the big. John was a rock star marketing guy at Pepsi. And, and this young computer guy, who really hadn't proven himself yet, chased him. And... Finally, you know, uh, Scully kind of succumbed to the, do you want to spend the rest of your life pushing uh, carbonated sugar water, or do you want to come with me and change the world? John Scully, obviously, is a real person with real mannerisms. People know him, especially readers of the Wall Street Journal, but they may not know his mannerisms or how he acts and how he walks and he talks. Did you feel like that was important to try to capture any of that, or were you going for something more essential in your portrayal of him? It's less about how he holds his hands and the tone of his voice than it is what he went through and the beginning middle and an end of that relationship with Steve which in the middle blew up and and how does John see it now years later and after Steve's passed and that's what I was interested in because I wanted to show that that fall now and I've heard that you've met the real John Scully as you said um, what were the circumstances and what did you talk about um, I said, tell me, tell me what happened uh. from your side. And he did. And, uh, and what was interesting, what I pulled out of it was that when he talked about the relationship now, you could still see that there was a hurt, that there was a longing, there was a regret that he hadn't reached out to Steve, nor had Steve reached out to John. But it was a two-way street to reconcile, to fix this nasty divorce that happened between the two of them. They were wonderful partners early on. John was a father figure, he was the adult in the room, and for a couple of years they had trust and respect for each other, and then it was Shakespearean in its blow up. And, and John, you could still see that John uh, wished he could go back and fix that somehow, and uh, not just because of the product and what Apple became, but because he liked Steve. He liked this being the guy that helped shepherd this guy who was one of the handful of people who truly changed the world. Now that the movie's out, uh, have you talked to John Scully about his take on what you did to show his life on screen? Yeah, I've, I've heard from John, and, uh, but, he, but he did say that he, for what we were trying to do, he thought it was moving, and, and um, for a drama, it was accurate. Here's the other thing, uh, for the people that are carping about, you know, uh, well, this didn't happen that well, we took out the boring parts. <laughs> You know, if we were to do a, a movie of your life or my life, you know, it doesn't move in, in, a, in a kind of beginning, middle, and an end way. It doesn't do that. Life doesn't do that. So that's, we're the ones who kind of, kind of put some order to it, some linear kind of movement to it, and that's what we did. What do you think of some of the, uh, some of the criticism of the film? I completely understand their point of view. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a product and a company they feel passionate about, and... and his wife obviously loves Steve and a father and a husband, and I, and I get it, I get it. But he is also one of the most important figures in modern day history. He's Henry Ford, he's Thomas Edison. And the guy was a genius, he was complicated. And at the end of the day, with all due respect to them, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Well, our job is to make this movie about one of the great creative geniuses of our time.